Hi, 大家好 Hi, everyone. So today, I just like suddenly feel really want to share this message with you. So I want to share、uh, my personal story about how I stop myself comparing myself with other people. Okay, and、um, what's the benefit of that? So for you, it would be like stop comparing yourself with other people、uh, when it comes to learning Chinese. Maybe you look at other people and you think like why they can learn Chinese in such a short time, or why、um, they can start converse with people in such a short time. And I have been spending all this time learning Chinese, like considered like quite a long time, comparing to them. Like、longer than them, right? But I still don't see much progress, or I still struggle things like this. Okay, so my personal story, I'm going to share、uh, about my business. Okay, because you guys know that I have my business basically established on social media, right? On on the internet. So I run social media, Instagram, YouTube,、uh, Facebook. And and so on,、um, and I at some point I become very very competitive in like numbers of followers, right? That's about probably about a year、um, ago. So about a year ago. So every day when I wake up, the first thing for me, sorry, my hair is annoying. <laughs> okay, or my hand.、Um, The first thing that I want to see is the numbers of followers.、Uh, has it grown yet? Or how many followers do I get this morning since I post that post? How many likes do I get? Things like this, right? And then when I look at other teachers, especially who started much later than me, and seeing them gaining so much followers in a rapid, you know, t- like short time. It just made me feel kind of like jealous. I thought, wait, that's not fair at all. Like they started much later than me, but they gaining this rapid growth that I never encountered. Right? I also work hard. What's wrong? And I started questioning myself. Like, what's wrong with my content?、Uh, do I need to do the same as they do? Or、um, uh, I don't know. Just. Started questioning myself, what's wrong with me, right? So that's how I feel for a long time. Like just keep looking at other people's results and comparing to myself. And one day I was just like,、oh, I had enough of comparing myself to others because this is starting to affect my、um, my life, my mental, because. You know how much I love my business, my teaching career. Basically, thinking about it like twenty four seven, and because of that, because of I'm constantly comparing myself to others, it started to affect me a lot. So at at some point, I really want to see like a doctor or something. And one day, I started to think, what's the benefit of me comparing myself to other people? Do I? Become more creative. Do I become more you know, affected at work? Am I happier? You know, this is so important, right? Like, do you feel happy doing something that you you want to do? Right? Of course, you want to be happy. You want to enjoy the process, right? Otherwise, it's kind of like no meaning. So this thought was like a slap on my face, <laughs> and I just suddenly wake up like, I should stop doing this because first. I never know their background. I never know like how long have they been preparing for this, right? It to me it feels like they just suddenly pop out and boom like this. It, it could maybe it could be really just like that, but it could also be they have been preparing or they have experience in doing this before, right? Whatever, that's not important. The most important thing is how I look at this thing, this whole thing, right? The main thing is I realize that it doesn't make any good for me, you know. So I decide to stop doing this and change my mindset. I just only feel so free, and I got so much creative than before because I feel like I can do my own way and、uh, not worry about anything else. 
some people may think that uh, you're just like finding excuse, uh, you're just running away from the problem. But again, let me just ask you one thing: that question, like, does comparing yourself to other makes you better? If not, why you're doing it, right? And what if this is just one of the life work that we have to deal with? We have to conquer it or learn from it, right? I mean, like, not comparing yourself to other people, right? So when you think like that, at least for me, when I thought. Like change my mindset. I just suddenly feel like free. Whatever's coming, I just take it as lessons. Lessons that I have to,、uh, um, like abilities that I have to equip it. Do I say like that?、Um, in order to hit my goals. I want to clear something. This is not some type of unhealthy, you know, self comfort.、Um, the condition is you are still doing your work. You're still putting effort on your whatever you're doing, your project, whatever, right? So if you're not putting effort in it or not even starting yet, and seeing other people like they doing so well and thinking why they're better than me, well, you better get your ass ready. Go do something. Take action. This is such an important skill to master in language learning, right? I feel like this is very underestimated. Um, when we talk about language learning, not to compare yourself with other people, because guess what? When you're always in this mindset of comparing yourself to other people, no matter how high your Mandarin level is, you will always feel not content, not satisfied. You always compare like yourself with like the next level people, and you always always want more and more and more, which sometimes is a good thing, but. When you're doing it with a negative energy, like self-sabotaging yourself, this is not good, because you will never reach your goal, or never feel happy, content. I bet the person that you thought is much better than you, they probably compare themselves to other people. So it's like a never-ending story, right? So I want you to have this healthy mindset about happy about what you get, and also in the meantime. Working on yourself to get better. Well, this thing can apply to many aspects of our lives, right? Sometimes we compare our appearance to other people. Sometimes we compare our、mm, like our work, whatever, right? But yeah, I am with you, and I just want to encourage you to focus more on yourself. And not to diminishing yourself, because if you want to thrive, the last thing you should do is to diminishing yourself, look small at yourself, and also like self sabotage yourself. We can thrive when you do it. Okay, so I'm looking forward to hearing what you think, and yeah, this is why I want to share today. All right, I will see you guys in the next content. Bye.